Chapter 57, What are the Laws and Laws of the World? At one time, the Buddha lived in the Garden of Solitude in the Gion Grove of the Acropolis. One day, the Buddha said to his monks, disciples, if I come now to tell you about the method of dependent origin and the method of dependent birth, you should listen carefully and think carefully. It's time to start talking. The monks replied, Sure Venerable, we will listen carefully to what you have to say, we will think carefully, and I respectfully ask your Venerable to speak for us with mercy. The Buddha said, Disciples, what is the method of dependent origin? Disciples, with birth as the precondition, there will be old death, whether or not to say this law, whether or not to come out to say this law, this law already exists, this law is already in operation, the fixed operation path of this law already exists, this law has long existed in the way of continuing to run forward with the existence of preconditions. If you have realized the supreme enlightenment, you have understood the laws and laws of this world. It is because Rulai has understood the laws and laws of this world that he is here to tell you, to teach you, to establish, to preach, to enlighten, to explain, to explain for you. And this law and law is, with life as the precondition, there will be old age and death. Disciples, in the same way, with being as the precondition there will be birth, with taking as the precondition there will be have, with love as the precondition there will be taking production, with acceptance as the precondition there will be love generation, with touch as the precondition there will be received generation, with six places as the precondition there will be touch generation, with famous color as the precondition there will be six places, with knowledge as the precondition there will be famous color whether we say this law or not, whether it comes out or not, this law already exists, this law is already in operation, the fixed operation path of this law already exists, the fixed operation path of this law already exists, and the way this law continues to run forward with the existence of preconditions has long existed. If you have realized the supreme enlightenment, you have understood the laws and laws of this world. It is because Rulai has understood the laws and laws of this world that he is here to tell you, to teach you, to establish, to preach, to enlighten, to explain, to explain for you. And this law and law is the dependent origin method just mentioned. Disciples, what is the method of dependent origin? To put it simply, this law, the law, has the truth of operation, all things in the world operate under this law and law, and there is nothing that does not operate under this law and law, and this law and law operation will not appear deviations and errors, this law and law uses specific conditions as the driving force for continued operation. The laws and laws that have these characteristics are the law of dependent origin. Disciples, what is the method of karma? Disciples, old death is impermanent, it is changing at any time, it cannot exist forever, it will arise under certain preconditions, it occurs with the operation of preconditions, it cannot remain eternal, it is the law of annihilation, it is the law of dissipation, it is the law of gradual decay and fading, and it is the law of destruction. Disciples, in the same way, birth, being, taking, love, receiving, touching, six places, fame, knowledge, action, and confusion are impermanent, they are changing at any time, they cannot exist forever, they will arise under certain preconditions, they occur with the operation of preconditions, they cannot remain eternal, they are the law of annihilation, the law of dissipation, the law of gradual decay and fading, and the law of destruction. Disciples, these are called karmic birth methods, that is, the laws and laws that are promoted by conditions and continuous operation are called karma methods. Disciples, when people in the world ask these questions, did I exist in a past life? Did I not exist in my past life? What was my past life? What was the situation in my past life? What was it in my past life? What did it become? Or they ask, does my future life exist? Does my future life not exist? What is my future life? What will happen to me in my future life? What will my future life be? What will become of it later? Or they ask, do I exist in this world? Do I not exist in this world? What am I in this world? What will happen to me in the present world? Where did I and all beings come from in this world, and where will I go in the future? When people in the world ask these questions, it means that they do not understand the law of dependent origin and the law of dependent birth, and if they understand the law of dependent origin and the law of dependent birth, they will not ask these questions, because they have already understood the laws and rules of the operation of things in the world. What is this law? What is the rule? 
That is, acting is produced with confusion as the precondition, knowledge is produced with action as the precondition, name is produced with knowledge as the precondition, six places is produced with name as the precondition, touch is produced with six as the precondition, receive is produced with touch as the precondition, love is produced with receive as the precondition, take is produced with love as the precondition, take is produced with take as the precondition, and being is produced with have as the precondition in this way, birth will produce sorrow, sadness, bitterness, worry, despair, aging, and death. This is the process by which the sufferings and troubles of people or beings in the world gather, and people or beings in the world will continue to suffer and sink in the cycle of life and death according to the law of dependent origin, suffering and suffering. Ignorance is extinguished without giving birth to action, action is extinguished without giving birth to knowledge, knowledge is extinguished without giving birth to name, name is destroyed without giving birth to six places, six places is destroyed without touch, touch is destroyed without feeling, receive is extinguished without giving birth to love, love is destroyed without giving birth to take, take is destroyed without giving birth to have, have does. Not give birth to birth and perishes, birth does not arise, sorrow, sorrow, distress, worry, despair, old age, and death are gone. This is the process by which the suffering and troubles of people or beings in the world are eliminated. People or sentient beings in the world can be freed from the troubles and sufferings of the cycle of life and death by retrograde according to the law of dependent origin. After the Buddha's teachings, the monks and disciples all paid homage to the Buddha again, and they all praised the immeasurable merits of the Buddha's teachings and practiced according to the Buddha's teachings.